In this video, we're going to be looking at another difficult trig limit problem. And it's the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of tan of 3x over x minus pi over 3. So as x gets close to pi over 3, this numerator gets close to tangent of pi, and the denominator gets close to 0. And tangent of pi is 0 because it's sine of pi over cosine of pi. So this is the same thing as sine of pi over cosine of pi over 0. This is the limit as x approaches pi over 3. Sine of pi is 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. So that's 0 over negative 1 over 0. And this is 0 over 0. And this is an indeterminate form abbreviated as INDET, indeterminate form. So you know that we have more algebra to do to find the limit or show that it does not exist, one of the two. And in several prior videos, when we were not able to quickly look at either the numerator and denominator and factor, and the factoring would lead to cancellations that caused us the problem of dividing by zero, what we often did was the quantity we want, the term we wanted to get rid of, we called that u. So this x minus pi over 3 is, is what's posing a problem here because as x tends to pi over 3, we have a division by 0 that leads us to this indeterminate form here. So we're going to let u equal x minus pi over 3. Well, if u equals x minus pi over 3, then x and this, these three dots here just means therefore, or it follows that x equals u plus pi over 3. So the limit, I'm just going to rewrite the limit here limit as x tends to pi over 3 of tangent of 3x over x minus pi over 3. That's the limit as u tends to 0, because remember u is x minus pi over 3 of the tangent of 3x is going to be 3 times u plus pi over 3 over x minus pi over 3 and that's what u is okay so we're just going to be expanding this here so this is the tangent of 3u plus 3 times pi over 3 is pi. OK, and hopefully you remember from your trig identities that the tangent of a plus b is equal to the tangent of a plus the tangent of b divided by 1 minus tangent of a times tangent of b. This is the sum identity, angle sum identity for tangent. This can be derived from the angle sum identities for sine and cosine and doing some algebra after that, but I'll do that in another video. In this video, take for granted that the tangent of a plus b is the tangent of a plus the tangent of b divided by 1 minus the tangent of a plus times the tangent of b. 
So this basically puts the tangent of this sum in terms of the tangents of the individual components of that sum. So this is the limit as u tends to 0 of the numerator. We have the tangent of this sum. So that's the tangent of a is 3u here plus the tangent of pi divided by 1 minus tangent of a, so tangent of 3u times the tangent of b, which is pi, times the tangent of pi. Hopefully you remember that the tangent of pi is 0, and this is because sine of pi is 0, and cosine of pi is negative 1. 0 over negative 1 is 0. Okay, so tangent of pi equals sine of pi over cosine of pi equals 0 over negative 1, and that's 0. So this equals 0. So this is just in the numerator. We just have the tangent of 3u. And because in the denominator, tangent of 3u is multiplied by tangent of pi, and this is 0, you're multiplying by 0, so this term disappears. Oh, well, I forgot one thing. Remember, this is just the sum of, of tangents. So of the, this is just the tangent of a sum here, this part. But we still have to divide by u. This whole thing is divided by u. OK, so this is the limit as u tends to 0. So this is a complex fraction. In the numerator of the complex fraction, we have this expression, this big expression for the tangent of a sum. And we said tangent of pi is 0, so we're left with tangent of 3u. And in the denominator here, with, of the numerator of the complex fraction, or in the expression, in the denominator of the expression for the tangent of the sum. This tangent of pi term is 0, so this product is 0, so we, we just have 1. We have this divided by u, this whole thing. So this is the same thing as the limit as u tends to 0 of tangent of 3u over 1 times 1 over u. And that is the limit as u tends to 0 of the tangent of 3u over u. I'm going to move up to the top of this board here. The original limit we considered was the limit as x tends to pi over 3. The tangent of 3x over x minus pi over 3. And after, after the u substitution and all of this algebra here, we got that that's equivalent to the limit as u tends to 0. So, so we let, let u, let u equal x minus pi over 3. So all of this stuff is equal to the limit as u tends to 0 of the tangent of 3u over u. But the tangent of 3u 
is the sine of 3u over the cosine of 3u. And this 1 over, and this is times 1 over u. That's the same thing as the limit as u tends to 0. The sine of 3u over u times the cosine of u. Okay, so what do we do here? If we, if we looked as u gets close to 0, this sine of 3u gets close to sine of 0, right? Sine of 0. u gets close to 0. Cosine of u gets close to cosine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. We still end up with an indeterminate form. So that means we have still more algebra to do. So what can we do at this point? Well, we recognize this. We have a sine of 3u over u. This is very similar to a sine of u over u. Limit as u tends to 0, sine of u over u construct. And we can convert this into, into that. And uh, so let me just split this up here. So this, th this can be written as the limit as u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over u times 1 over cosine of u. And the limit of a product is the product of the limits. So this is equal to the limit as u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over u times the limit as u tends to 0 of 1 over cosine of u. As u goes to 0, cosine of u goes to cosine of 0, which is 1. 1 over 1 is just 1. So we have the limit as u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over u times 1, because this limit here equals 1. So what is this limit here? Well, this should be a u. Uh, I think I just made that worse. Okay, hopefully rewrite this here. Sine of 3u over u. Okay, so we want to convert. We can't change this sine of 3u, but we can convert this u into a 3u. And how do we do that? Well, here's what we can do. We can multiply both numerator and denominator here by 3. So we'll have 3 sine of 3u over 3u. All we did was we multiplied this by 3 over 3, right? And this is the same thing as limit as u tends to 0 of 3 times this whole function here, sine of 3u over 3u. And the limit of a Constant times a function is the constant times the limit of that function. So this is equal to the limit as u tends to 0. And this is just 1, okay? So that's why this limit is gone. So this is equivalent to the limit of, or 3 times limit as u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over 3u. Well, this is essentially the form of limit as x tends to 0 of sine of x over x. But the one thing here is this is 
limit as u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over 3u. But as u tends to 0, bear in mind that 3u also goes to 0, only 3 times as fast. So this is the limit as 3u tends to 0 of sine of 3u over 3u. Okay, and, and 3u, we have all 3u's here, so you know, if, we let, if we let y, if we let y equal 3u, then what we have here is equal to 3 times the limit as y tends to 0 of sine of y over y. And this is just 3 times 1 because limit as y tends to 0 of sine of y over y is 1. It's one of our fundamental limits. So 3 times 1 is 3 and that is the final answer.